So I studied astrophysics at university and one of the exam questions actually on one of my uh, final exams was to describe mathematically what would happen to an individual that he or she passed into a black hole from the perspective of that individual and someone watching that individual. Uh, and although there's lots of maths involved, I think it's a pretty interesting answer. First, what is a black hole? Well, a black hole is a point of infinite density. It occurs when a star above around 1.2 times the mass of our sun dies. What happens is that the star collapses in on itself to form this point of infinite density. Around the black hole, there's a, an area called the event horizon. At the event horizon, the pull of gravity is sufficiently strong that light can no longer escape. When people say we can't see into a black hole, what they mean is that light cannot escape its radius around the point of infinite density, which is called the event horizon. So what happens if you were to travel inside a black hole like they did in the film Interstellar, for example? Well, we have to look at that from two angles because of Einstein's theory of relativity, from the perspective of the person going into the hole and from the perspective of a person observing. What happens for a person going into the hole? Well, for a very small black hole, interestingly, you'd be probably torn apart by the force of gravity. The difference in the gravity between your head and your toes would be very, very large and would probably cause what we call spaghettification. You're torn apart. So you'd want to try and enter a larger black hole because a larger black hole, the gradient of gravity is less steep and therefore the difference in gravitational pull between your feet and your head would be less. So actually, ironically, you want to be going to one of the supermassive black holes that exist, say, for example, at the center of our galaxy, there's a black hole that's billions of times the mass of our sun. Okay, so we've avoided spaghettification. Then what happens? Well, the most interesting thing that happens with black holes is time. Because time, under the general theory of relativity, is going to be relative. Areas of strong gravitational fields, clocks, have a different relative time to ones of weak gravitational fields. We saw that in the film Interstellar, when they went to a planet near a black hole, and the astronauts who went to the planet they measured say 20 minutes in their local time but the people on the spaceship measured years of time that's exactly what would happen in a black hole as you approach the event horizon your clock well you would experience everything moving normally you would live your life you'd see the second hands passing by but from the perspective of someone watching you go in they would see you effectively freeze on the horizon as you hit the event horizon time effectively would be infinite. You'd be frozen in space on the event horizon. They would never see you disappear, they'd never see you go in. You'd be frozen. The third thing that happens next to a black hole is gravitational redshift. That means that the light itself is stretched out. And as it's stretched out, it's stretched towards the red end of the spectrum. So light coming in from, emitted from close to a black hole is all shifted outside, of, even outside of our visible range. So actually the person might even disappear from visible, the visible spectrum before they reached the event horizon. So what does it mean to be inside a black hole? What it means is you're inside the event horizon. Light can't escape. So what do you feel like? Well, actually you wouldn't feel anything strange, probably. But provided the gradient of gravity wasn't enough to tear you apart, you'd experience time and free fall in the same way that you would outside of a black hole. But the one unusual thing that would happen is that the objects that fell in before you, well, you'd be able to see, because their time would have slowed down much relative to you, you'd probably be able to see almost the entire history of the universe ahead of you. You'd also be able to see objects behind you. The only thing you can't do is travel out. So effectively what has happened inside a black hole is the reversal of time and space. Like in the ordinary world, time can move forward, but you can move forward and backwards in space. In the black hole, you cannot move forward or backwards in space. You can only move towards the event, towards the center of the black hole. So space has effectively become a time coordinate for you in the black hole.